When you open Blender, it gives you these options, just select General. What we see is the default view of Blender. This left side toolbar may display expanded like this. Okay, now this entire window is loaded with so many elements. It may look clumsy if you are new to Blender. So let us clean it up. We will have a much simpler window to start with. It is very easy once you know how to open or close different panels. So here is the default cube added by Blender. Let us add some more objects quickly. If you want to know about basic navigation in Blender, I have made another video for that. The link is in the video description. Now we have added one cylinder and a cone along with our default cube. To see the list of all these objects present in our scene, we need to open a different panel. This small icon at the top left corner says editor type. We are currently in 3D viewport. We can display another panel by changing this editor type to say outliner. Now we can see a list of all the objects that we have added. Let us go back to 3D viewport. If we want to change the color or the appearance of any object, we need to modify their properties. So we need to go to the properties panel by again changing the editor type here, all the way down to properties. In the properties panel, we can change the location or other properties for the object currently selected. We can even select another object from this drop down list. On the left hand, we have different tabs. We can see the scene properties or rendering properties and modify them. Let us go back to 3D viewport. We want to display our properties panel side by side within this same window. So bring your cursor down and right click here. Select vertical split. Move your mouse to the area roughly where you want to split the window and left click. You will see another panel is displayed. By default it is the replica of the same panel we just split. But there are editor types for both the panels at the top left corner and we can change them to display whichever panel we want. Let the left panel display our 3D viewport. We will change the editor type in the right side panel to display the outliner here. So we have the outliner panel here. But we can again change the editor type to properties and the properties panel will display. For now, let us keep it as outliner only. We can also resize the panels if we want to give more space to our 3D viewport. We can probably clean up this viewport little bit. To hide this left side toolbar, left click near its end and drag the toolbar into a single column, or you can completely hide it as well. Once hidden, this small arrow can help you to display it again. On the right side, we have this small section which displays some more properties for the scene. By pressing in on the keyboard, we can toggle its visibility. Alternatively, we can also click on this small arrow to display it. This section provides some useful tools for our scene. Now we have a clean viewport. Quite nice. But if we want to also display the properties panel, we need to split it again. This time do a horizontal split and select the properties option in the editor type. So here we have our properties, we have the outliner, we have the 3D viewport. And one interesting thing is they are interlinked. What I mean is, if we select the cylinder in the 3D viewport, oops. If we select the cylinder here, the outliner also shows the cylinder as selected. If we select the cone, it reflects on all other panels as well. Now let us select the cube and change its location in the properties panel. See, it is moved even in the 3D viewport. So these panels are not isolated. We can make a change in any one place and it reflects everywhere. If you want, you can further split this viewport and add another panel. Let us add the timeline panel which is very essential for any animation you make in Blender. You can resize this panel to its minimum height. That's pretty much it is guys. I found that these four panels are mostly needed. Occasionally we may need to open some other panel or editor. We will discuss about all the different editors and their functions at another time. Thank you for watching.